And let's say you wanted the same plan that I have, which is called Maxima, but you want outpatient, you want no deductible, you want vision, and you want dental, because that's just how you roll. Ow, 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 yippee, yo, yippee, yo. Ow, ow, yippee, yo, yippee. 26th in Thailand, Thailand Rob. I finally got health insurance. For any of you that have never been in Thailand and never been to a hospital or a private hospital, let me let me clarify, a private hospital, the the service over here is impeccable. Uh, same day service. <laughs> Need I say more? Same day service. However, if you don't have insurance over here, it can be a different situation for a lot of people. If you go to a government hospital and you don't have insurance they're gonna quickly ask you if you can pay for the services that day and and it can it it can get it can get a little tricky for some people for example what put me in the mode quick enough to get health insurance this year before I got any older was three reasons as I said in the other video Graham Breyer went to the hospital with a heart condition and Kev Kevin Thailand another youtuber went into the hospital with cancer both of them not having insurance ended up that uh, viewers helped out with either GoFundMe or uh, just donating money to help out with the bills. However, it got me thinking a whole lot about insurance back then. Now the icing on the cake for me was this. My friend Boomer in Kamala, he doesn't have insurance, he's 75 years old, and he was having problem breathing earlier this year. So he went to a government hospital in Patong. Uh, excuse me in Phuket not Patong and he was in the hospital and every day he was in the hospital without insurance He was running up a bill in the upwards of 20,000 baht a day. That's getting close to a thousand not 750 ish US dollars a day. That's a lot and he doesn't have that kind of money So the first thing he wanted to do was get out having seen what happened to him and then having a, a mindset of if I was in a motorbike accident and they just sent me to a hospital, they were gonna take me to, they would take me to the same hospital, the government hospital. If I didn't have any say so, if I didn't have any insurance and I, I would be in a position where they can charge me whatever they need to charge me or want to charge me and I don't have any recourse. I just have to pay what they say. However, if I had had insurance, there is a, a whole negotiate. Let's get into that. If and when you have insurance and you have that card, when you go in and they, they have your information on file, you will get the royal treatment. As Simon and I just talked about last night, you're gonna get good treatment at all the hospitals here. The government hospitals may be a little bit slower because there's a larger queue because all of the Thai people are there because that's where they go to get their, their treatments and because they don't have to pay the same amount of money that foreigners have to pay. So they all go to the government hospitals. If you go to the Bangkok, the Bumagrads, any of the private ones, you get VIP. I mean, when you, you, concierge, hospitals with concierge, when you open the door to your, no, they open the door to your car for you to get in and out of your car. I mean, it's that high end. In Boomer's situation, it was not that high end. Not at all. And he was in a ward not a room a ward if you haven't been to thailand and you haven't seen a lot of times if you don't have a private hospital and you don't have a private room you're going to be put into a large room with up to as many as 50 people within a room right next just 50 people in a room and nobody likes to be in a ward when you don't feel good to start with another thing that kept me from getting insurance was just the money I wasn't sure how much it was going to be. I'm used to American health insurance, which is stupidly, stupidly ridiculous for a country that's supposed to be so ultimately wonderful. The health insurance over there, don't get me started. I'm not, sorry, I'm venting. However, over here, I got in touch with Jamie. Jamie's information is in the description below. His email is right there. Contact him if you want. The link underneath his name is an online quote for Pacific Cross where you can get a general idea with your age and what kind of coverages that you would want to get and the price you're going to get. But I got in touch with Jamie. Jamie and I worked out a plan together where I, I went kind of in the middle because I wanted to get something that would cover me in case of a, a bad situation. Like I was going to be in the hospital for days. That's what I wanted. I didn't need, I personally didn't need health insurance 
for outpatient or uh, dental or eye exams. I, the healthcare over here is so inexpensive to go get your eyes checked once a year at, at Bangkok Hospital VIP is, is like a hundred US bucks. And with, with glaucoma test. I mean, it was like a hundred bucks. So I'm, I don't need insurance for that. And dental, you can get your teeth cleaned over here. I think the upper range of that is 1500, which is 75 US dollars. So I chose, I don't need dental on my health insurance and I don't need vision on my health insurance. I just need something that if I ever got sick or in an accident on a motorbike, I wanted to be covered for the hospital bed, hospital room, and the staff, because that really can add up. I got a five million baht annual plan for $90 a month. 90 US dollars a month. That's awesome. And what I did to bring the price down to that point was I got a 40,000 baht deductible a year, which I know a lot of people may or may not want to do, but I'll tell you, 40,000 baht is 1,200 US dollars, somewhere around 1,200 US dollars. And I thought, well, if I go in the hospital and I have to stay one day or something that like, if I did a rotator cuff surgery again, which I might need one day, I have no problems paying out of pocket a thousand bucks with it. I, Cause I've got the credit card, that's fine. But if it's gonna keep my uh, serious insurance cheaper for me monthly, I'm fine with that. To get my price to that point, I chose a 40,000 bot deductible I also chose not to have dental or vision, and I didn't want outpatient. Now, before you go, but Rob, I I want I want dental and vision and outpatient. And that's fine. If you had if I had put the if I had put the outpatient on top of that, it's twenty three dollars more. So I could have got my five million bot plan plus outpatient for only twenty three dollars more. Ninety dollars plus twenty three, not too bad. But Rob, what if I don't want a deductible? I don't want a 40,000 baht deductible. Then the same plan that I have right now would have been $122 a month, no deductible. But Rob, what if I want outpatient and no deductible? 153 a month, it's still not that bad. And now you're getting into no deductible, outpatient completely covered, inpatient completely covered, 5 million baht, 150. What, 153? And let's say you wanted the same plan that I have, which is called Maxima, but you want outpatient. You want no deductible, you want vision, and you want dental, because that's just how you roll. Well, you're looking at 210 bucks a month. That's it. I've heard people say that they're paying up to 5, 000, uh, excuse me, 500 US a month for health insurance, but they must have had some serious pre-existing conditions or something, because I just, I don't, I didn't see it. Again, Jamie and I got together and there was, I, there was no price point for that kind of money. I don't know what these people have on their health insurance. Maybe they've got the super duper deluxe plan with olive oil. I, I just don't know. And if you did want that plan with all of the bells and whistles and the dental and the outpatient and all of that, at the 210, if you subtract in a 40,000 deductible on that one, it goes down to 171-ish a month. I will tell you what was surprising to me was what makes the policy jump very quickly is dental. I don't know why. Vision was almost nothing, but I can tell you when I go to the doctor for vision, it's not much. When you go get quotes for dental work done here for at least cleaning, it's not that expensive. But if you add dental onto your policy, you'll see if you go to that link that's down in the description and you put in the quotes and you add dental, watch how much it jumps and you'll see what I'm talking about there. But the main thing I want to tell you was I worked with Jamie, Jamie worked with me, we got into a, a situation where I was asking him, is 8,000 for room rates pretty good? He said, yes. And I told him the money that I wanted, I wanted 5 million, I think 5 million after what I've heard with Kevin and other people, 5 million a year for me, I'm comfortable with that. The coverage that they have on these policies can be from room rates from 2,000 to 18,000 a night, it's up to you. And from 270,000 a year up to 50 million a year. And I, again, like I said, I got on the, not right in the middle, I got a little bit above right in the middle. I thought it was a good price point. Five million a year, 90 US dollars a month for me, I'm happy. I know that every year that I don't go to the hospital, there's a discount involved. And you can be up to 75 years, 75 years old is the cutoff point. So click on the link below, play around with the numbers, see which one you like the best. Contact Jamie, get a personalized quote from him from the office, 
because the numbers on the website don't pertain exactly to you. you you already know that he'll get back with you you'll get your plan and if you're like me 90 bucks a month if you have any questions for me put them in the comments below or send me an email but i can tell you i'm extremely happy it was very simple for me to get uh, everything done even while I'm stuck in kind of a quarantine type situation everything was done uh, through email and photos on my on my phone it was really really easy working with Jamie at Pacific Cross and that's my shout out to Jamie Jamie I hope you're doing good you guys links are in the description below have a good one get you some health insurance it doesn't cost that much and you'll feel a whole lot better and I'll talk about this again later see ya